Getting a shock is always serious. But getting an electric shock from a live power line is a whole lot worse. It can result in serious injury, even death. Every year, close to 600 electric shocks or burns from electrical contact occur in the workplace. As a construction professional, you should already know how to control and prevent the risk of injury from contact with a live power line. Since this can have serious consequences, and there are several ways to prevent it, electric shock from a live power line is considered zero tolerance. Depending on the job site and the tasks to be performed, you might have to work near power lines. Sometimes, you might even have to contact the electric power company before work can get underway. This could delay the start of the work by several days or even weeks. That's why it's so important to properly plan your job site. Don't wait until the job starts to identify tasks and locate live wires from which to maintain a safe distance. For medium voltage lines from 750 to 34,500 volts, you must maintain a minimum distance of 3 meters. These are the highest lines. Sometimes there's only one, but often there are three. Overhead power lines might seem harmless, but they're extremely dangerous. If you get within 3 meters, electricity can arc through the air between the lines in your body and kill you without any direct physical contact. Low voltage lines connect homes to the electrical grid. Their voltage is 750 volts or less, and if they're insulated, no minimum approach distance is required. But that doesn't mean they're not dangerous. Always make sure that the insulating sheath is in good condition and avoid touching it while working. Communications lines are used for telephone and cable. For the most part, they don't present a risk of electric shock, but they should be avoided all the same. Once you've located the medium voltage lines, you need to figure out if it's possible to maintain the minimum distance of 3 meters at all times. And the minimum distance isn't just for workers. It includes buildings, equipment, tools, materials, and machinery. Extendable equipment must be fitted with a range-limiting device. The range-limiting device automatically warns you and stops the machine if it comes close to the 3-meter mark. You must receive training from the manufacturer before you can program it properly. If you're required to work within 3 meters of medium voltage lines, you must first contact the electric power company. Working with the contractor, the power company will come up with the best solution for making the job site safe. Solutions include moving the lines further away to maintain the 3 meter distance, putting a protective sheath on the line so that you can work at a distance of 1.2 meters, or simply de-energizing the lines. The power company will provide a written agreement that must be signed. And keep in mind that there's also a risk of electric shock when digging underground. Train and inform your workers of the preventive measures and safety rules that must be taken and followed when working near life power lines. Being a professional is all about proper planning, because that's how you finish a job safely.